What's up guys, it's Nick Mayorga. Welcome back. I hope you guys had an amazing week. Today, I'm doing something very special. I have a special guest. I have a very special guest. It's my brother! Oh! <laughs> If you guys can tell by the title of the video, my brother's a vegan. We're gonna go to a vegan restaurant and it's gonna be a mukbang. We're gonna do it together. It's gonna be fantastic, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, brotherly yeah, love. Oh, I love this guy. Aww. So, we're gonna go right now. You guys are gonna see where it is. Should we just home right now? Yeah. Let's... All right, yeah. We're going to Veggie Girl. Veggie Girl! If you guys have never heard of Veggie Girl, I don't know if they're just in California. I'm not sure. It's pretty big in LA. There's a lot of Veggie Girls. We're gonna go to one of them. We're gonna do a mukbang. We're gonna see how it is because, you know, this guy's vegan. We'll see you guys when we get there. Peace. So we just ordered right now. Um, we're waiting for our food. I got some tacos. It was like some vegan barbacoa tacos. And then he got a barbecue pulled pork sandwich. Be pretty good. Okay, let's go. Ah. What'd we do? <laughs> we did a thing. <laughs> we just got the veggie girl right now. We're gonna walk over to our car and then we're gonna go to Adi's house We're gonna eat it there. It's gonna be amazing. What are, what are you doing? <laughs> Do that face again <laughs> All right, yeah, we'll see you guys when we get there you Whoa Now we're already back here. We're at, we're at the pad, you know I'm gonna eat some veggie grill Ooh. You excited or what? I'm pretty excited. I, I've had veggie girl once before, but I didn't have a very good experience. Oh, so it wasn't that good. Well, so you ordered something different this time, right? Yeah, I ordered something different. All right, bet. So, right here, we got some fries. I don't know if you guys can see it. I kind of like how the bag, the fries come in a bag. Those are Anthony's. We got some napkins. Right here, we got the pulled pork pulled sandwich. Pork, yeah. Pulled pork sandwich. Ooh. Delicious. Vegan. Vegan. Hey, everything here is vegan. I got some tacos right here. Looking pretty good. Yeah, that does look good. And we got a side of rice. Got a little side of black beans. Right here we got some sauces. Here, let me get some water. Right in the middle right you want some there? water? Yeah, please. These pickles look nice. Though. Yeah? Yeah, they look healthy. Oh, so we got our water. Now we're all set. set. Ow! Yo, I just hit my knee on like the bottom of the Dude, table. I've been feeling that since I sat down. Let me see the burger. I'm gonna cut it in half. So you can both do. experience it. Oh yeah. I'm gonna try one of these fries real quick. All right. Give me a little fry right. review right now. Should I go dippy dip or no dippy dip? I'm feeling the dippy dip right now. <laughs> I are you, are you guys dip. feeling the dippy dip? Dippy dip. Dip. That's a nice dip for a dip like you. <laughs> That's pretty good. It has been cut in half. You guys can see it right there. Ooh. Vegan pulled pork. Vegan pulled pork. All right, so this that one's my good. half because I put my fingers all over it. Thank you. Um, what? Huh? What? What? <laughs> That's good. Mm -hmm. You know what they used or no? No. Cause it does taste like pork. I asked the lady before. I'll fix this real quick. She said it was vegan. She said everything at the restaurant was vegan, so. She did say it's that. Nice. But um, It's actually really good. I don't like the pulled pork though. Not the pulled pork, the coleslaw. I don't like the coleslaw in it. Cause it has coleslaw. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it doesn't taste that good. It does have an acquired taste for sure. I put a pickle inside of my sandwich. I got a bite of that right now. It really helps out with the coleslaw. It like puts it on its back, you know? Like when I put the seam on my back. Let me go ahead and slap a pickle on there. It's really good. It's like, it's kind of like a different texture than pork though, mm -hmm. almost. It's like, it is. It's like a little like, a little. It's like a little dilly dally. Yeah. I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> it's almost like a little bit more rubbery, like not as tender, but it's still good though. I like it. Whoa, vocabulary. I think this is ketchup. That is, I think that's vegan ketchup, not organic. Bruh. 
It's, it's vegan. vegan ketchup. Have ketchup you guys vegan. ever heard of this? Vegan ketchup. It's immaculate. I'm gonna go in for a french fry. One thing I really like about this place is that they, they bothered to mix in. Oh. I spilled on myself. Is there any more napkins or no? No. Can you get those right there? I'm gonna eat another fry. Wow. Yo, Anthony, do me a favor. Yeah. When you take this next bite, try not to say wow. Yeah. You're supposed to say wow. <laughs> you messed up the whole thing. Just read it, read it. Just be like, all right, and then take the bite. Now we're gonna check out these tacos. We're gonna see how they are. You guys can see they have a little bit of tortilla chips right here. And the taco, like the tortilla, is under all of the lettuce and stuff. We got black beans and some brown rice. Very healthy. I'm gonna just spread it on there. Are you fine with that? Yeah. All right. Surprise me. Really good. And then the remaining from the tacos, we could just eat it with the tortilla chips. I'm gonna grab myself a little taco. A little taco action. A little taco piece? Yep. Can you get yours? All right. Can you guys see it? A little bit fell out, but it's fine. It's girthy. It is girthy. I'm gonna go for the first bite because it's gonna fall apart if I don't eat it right now. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's see what we got. Mmm. This actually tastes like real barbecue. Wow. It really does. I've been vegan for about three and a half months now. This is the most close to meat that I've tasted since then, for sure. I'm gonna put a little bit of this hot sauce on it. See how it is. I'm gonna go in for another bite. Yo, it's like falling apart. I'm gonna need to go for it. Okay. Try to fit the other part of my mouth. You gotta do it. It's taking up the left side of my mouth right now. I'm gonna put this one on the right side. Get up in there. Their avocados are really fresh. Mm -hmm. That's something that's really underrated, is their avocado. The meat, it's very like small and ground down, but it has that like seasoned meat kind of taste, you know? Mm -hmm. If you pick it up, look at it. I don't know if you guys can see it, it's good stuff. So the remaining, at the bottom, I'm just gonna scoop it up with some tortillas. Make it really easy. Trust me. Is that stuff good right there? It's pretty good. Only thing about the tortilla chips that I would change is like a little bit more salt. Because mm -hmm. they're very bland. Yeah, they are pretty bland. What do you think about this? What about this? Should I try it? It's pretty it's good. Set. I already mixed it in with oh. this. No, I'm kind of sad, because we're almost done. <laughs> and the Seriously. sad part about all that is that I'm not even full. I say that's a big part of the uh, vegan life, not being full. Is that a daily struggle for you? Yeah, <laughs> it is. It's what I chose to do, you know, so. What question do you get asked the most being a <clears throat> vegan? I'd probably say the most frequent question I get is if it has changed my energy levels at all throughout the day. Yeah, it has. It's more of just like steady energy throughout the day where I just don't get tired. So I can just like stay up. So wow. it's pretty nice. It's pretty sick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What I always hear people say about vegans, whenever they're like criticizing them, I was like, well, where are you supposed to get your protein from? You're not eating meat. Where are you supposed to get it from? That's true. All kinds of protein sources though, like meat substitutes in stores, tofu, beans have a lot of protein, peanut butter. It's not that bad. I'd say the hardest part about being vegan is just having to look at the back to see if you can eat it or not. Everything else is pretty easy. Yeah, we're pretty much done here though. We are pretty much done. That is the end of our mukbang. If you had to rate it on a scale of one to 10, what would you rate it, Anthony? I'd say on this meal in particular, I'd give it about a 7.8. Some of the things could have been better, for sure. I'd probably give it a six and a half. First, it didn't get me full. 
The coleslaw was really not good. I really didn't like the coleslaw. Also, the tortilla chips could have been better. I kind of like the fries because, I don't know, it's really hard to mess up fries, you know? It is. The pickles are really good, though. Yeah. The pickles, fantastic. So I guess if you're going somewhere just to get some pickles, then go to Veggie Grill. Yeah. Final score, what is that? 7.1? 7.2? Somewhere around 7.1, yeah. 7.2 when you round it together. <laughs> who is this guy? Who, who is this guy? Get out of my house. Okay. So that's all for our mukbang. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you guys want, you guys can follow me on Instagram at Nick Mayorga. You can follow him on Instagram at Aunt Mayorga. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, turn on post notifications, all that good stuff. But thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys another time. Peace out.